everybody, this is Joel and Paul from Moving to Mexico. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. And it never fails, Paul. Every time I do an intro, two Mexican guys drive by in a car. Well, you know, we are in Mexico. This is so true. the chances of being Mexican guys is pretty high, right? What about two Canadian guys? In, in Bucerias? Yes. Possibly. Yes. But where are we today, everybody? We are in Tequila. And this is not the first time we're in Tequila, Paul. No. This is the third? Second? Second time. But didn't we? No, but we didn't do anything with. I came on my own with Vel for Velo Guide once to shoot a. Oh, event. that's right, with Hector. Yeah. Big shout out to Hector and Tanya because uh, they were helping us uh, with the riding part of the video and we did some amazing rides. We did an amazing ride today. Uh, Ian Boswell and Colin Strickland, so a big shout out to those guys and, uh, and Tanya and uh, Hector who really helped us today. And, and this is now the top list. This is the best ride I've ever done in my life. Yeah, it blew me away. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think you're just saying that either. No, 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 even, I'm not just saying even that. Even Ian was saying it too. Right? Yeah, like he was like, "This is amazing," and he's comparing it to, to uh, places in Europe. And, yeah, you know. Well, we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> they yeah. built this road, this brand new highway, to like a town of 500 people. So there was no traffic. One truck passed us, on the whole, 28 kilometer long climb. Anyways, we're in Tequila and we, uh, we were really lucky to get this beautiful hacienda. Yeah, and, because um, this, is, this is an episode of, of what? Behind the Mexican Door. Normally, uh, you Daniela's know, Dan here and Daniela would yeah. do it and she's very cute when she does it. Right. I'm, I'm not so cute. Well, you know. I, you're okay. <laughs> and I think this is a really great example of Behind the Mexican Door because if you... If you like, look, look at where, where we are, where we are yeah. you know, you got a big vacant lot here, yeah. some houses over there, and... You got like a generator. Yeah, they got a generator, they got a barrel, maybe a full of tequila. Yeah. So it's nothing that you and would some painted be, trees. Yeah, there's some painted trees. It looks like they painted them for Christmas yeah. and then and left them like that. The, they don't have to paint them every year. They got the Christmas tree for life. This is like a nice little residential neighborhood, but we're still, um, I don't know, about... 14 blocks from the town center, so you yeah. can walk it. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to drive it tonight just because everyone's legs are really tired. Yeah. And there's like a big ride tomorrow. Right. Like, uh, Give them a break, huh? Yeah. So here's the Mexican door that there's, we're going to go behind. And there's our van. Which does look look nice. It's a nice it door. Does look, it does look nice. Yeah. Um, but it's just a door. Yeah. So it, it begs the question, what is behind the Mexican door? Yeah. Let's go check it Let's out. Let's go see. I think it's up here. Oh, it's not a brick. Oh, oh, look at that! Wow, he's doing wow. the grand opening. Oh my God! It's hey, Boswell, buddy. Boswell. What are you yeah, doing? Well, I decided I was gonna move to Mexico. So <laughs> is this your new house? A, decided to buy a hacienda. If uh, you were to buy a hacienda in Mexico, is this kind of what you would envision? Oh man, well what's behind the door and you wouldn't know this okay, one. on the other side of the door but let's go uh, take a look let's go check yeah. it out you, the first thing you can feel is instantly it's cooler in here yes right. I think having the grass and vegetation totally and just instantly like generally just, it's shadier it's quiet yeah. birds it's, chirping yeah it's two degrees cooler than it was uh, on oh, the road fine. and you just feel like a badass when you open this door that's right <laughs> <laughs> and you Target. got it, you got yourself a shot of tequila wow well uh, we we're in tequila, so we figure we might as well partake. Taste. Is there actually a Spanish word in French? There's a word terroir. Okay. Is there a Spanish word like in French? It's like if you if you're in Burgundy or something, you have like a beef bourguignon right. and like a like a wine from the region, like and everything comes together because it's from there. Um, I don't, there's got to be a Spanish. There's got to be a way to say that, but really that's just kind of like generally what you do. Yeah. yeah. But if anyone knows if there is a phrase like that in Mexico where you know you're it's kind of like when in Rome do as the Romans when right so when in tequila do as uh, those from tequila and you know, drink some of it when in tequila yes. tequila all right well take us around what do we, what do we see here a nice big yeah. courtyard to begin well, with um, yeah we can check this out first I mean this is like the this is the party pad out here okay obviously with the grass and I mean, yeah this is, this is the, what caught my eye yeah. Right. As soon as I walked in, I said, "Wow, look at that little party." Yeah. Party area. Well, and you know. You could have your nap here on the hammock. I've I've been here for a while, so I started to collect my bottles back there. 
Oh, wow, you're thirsty. My samplers. I mean, what better place to take a nap than on this hammock? Well, that's what I I did. You did take a nap. I was sleeping. Yeah. Did you, did you have yeah. Nap? yeah. So yeah, we are cheating. We have seen what's behind the door. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, we still have to. We still well, have to play full, it up. A bit. Full disclosure. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. have been here in here before. And look at all the cantarito. We could make. We could. Oh. I could have got all the ingredients, and I could have actually made cantaritos. Look at the giant. There's a, there's yeah. This is this is the big one right here, Joel. Oh my God. Yeah. They, you can actually order. There's a place, Ian, and like next time, we, we, we have to take you there where you can order these cantaritos this big. And it's like a big party. Like, it's this. Oh, you, just dip your, get one. Just dip your you each get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you, you basically order it for the table and yeah. then you dip your mug in. Because people think of Mexico and they think everyone lives in a shack. There's a lot of wealth here and there's a lot of beautiful properties. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's, I think it's awesome just to like get a little bit like. You know, you can start to explore a bit, get a bit investigative, and, and I'm sure around Bucerie, you should just go knock on someone's door and say, "Hey, can we take a look?" Yeah, it's kind of like a cribs of, yeah. It's it's Mexico cribs. Mexico, cribs. Mexico. That's cribs. what it you looked like when you opened the door. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because you had this shot of tequila. Yeah. You could be out here all the time. Your house is this is your house. It's outside. Yeah. You go to your bedroom to sleep and shower. You live out here. Well, that's, awesome. that that kind of uh, transitions into that part of the house, that's right? Very much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is. They do have multiple karaoke stations. But everything still is a little brown right now. Don't forget, this is the yeah. end of winter, right? So, but yet it's still green. Yeah, they're taking care of it. Yeah. But uh, come the rainy months, yeah, this is. Uh, I would suggest this is my favorite too. Yeah, I mean, just this open, open kitchen is pretty sweet. And I also just love like the aesthetics of this. Yeah. And there's things in here I don't even, well, I mean, just like look at the sink. Yeah, you do your dishes and you get well, I would do I would do dishes all the time if yeah. that was my, if that was my view. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's fully equipped. You got, I have no idea what this is for. I know tortilla press, I assume this is for grinding You could make stone? your own uh, corn flour yeah. with that stone. Yeah. You could make your own orange juice. juice. Orange juice for and then, but this is, I mean, this place is such a, look at this. You this could grill steaks on tortilla. it, tortilla. do this tortillas on tortilla it. Tortilla steak, yeah. tortilla corner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, tortilla corner. Yeah, but they've got a lot of nice, the aesthetics of this place. I mean, it seems like a place you'd rent for a, a party. This is where yeah. you want to bring your grandma. Who yeah. Makes tortillas. Yeah. And she like, you but she, like, but not to put her to work, but because she loves. She knows. She'd be like, up. okay, I'm gonna make handmade tortillas. Yeah. I'm gonna like make tortillas. I'm gonna feed everybody. Yeah. But that would be the Mexican way, right? Like, yeah. grandma's in the kitchen here. Mama's in the kitchen. They're I, kinda I like, just, I immediately imagine a big bounce house yeah. right in the middle of this with all the kids play yeah. playing. Adults hang out in here. The, the, there's a group of dudes over there in the bar, yeah. just getting hammered. <laughs> you know. And then Probably there's like the, time or two. the ladies over here being a little more casual, yeah. right? Well, I mean, this this, <laughs> this space is awesome. It's like yeah, I mean, what a great hangout for well, sure. Yeah. And again, it's all outside. Yeah, essentially, you know, fresh air and, and the nice weather breeze. Great right now, huh? Yeah, but I mean, this place is well. Everything is came with the place except for Joel's except for Joel's it's, espresso machine. Oh yes, and Joel, and tell us about this. So when I travel, coffee is very important to me, and I knew all the places we're gonna have coffee makers. But I really like my espresso. Yeah. And I really like this new bean that we have. And I like it in an espresso format. I don't okay. like it in the drip format. Oh, okay. So I'm like, I'm going to take my espresso machine. Good for you. Now, this machine's good. But the one that we have at BC Bucerias, the Jura, is better. Mejor. And I'm, if, once I sell out Paul's Cafe and Joel's Wine Bar, I'm, I'm going to buy myself. I'm going to trade this in mm -hmm. for a new Jura just for myself. That'll cool. be my prize for getting all that sold out. That was um, the kitchen. Yeah. I don't even know what you call this living room, hangout area. This is the dining this area. This is the dining area, but it's kind of the, the living room. I notice whoever owns this place has a really big affinity with pillows. Yeah, lots of pillows. There's the beds, even this couch I was sitting on, you can't actually sit on the couch because there's too many pillows on the couch. Yeah, it's more for looks. They love pillow forward. Pillow <laughs> forward, yes. And there's some people over there. There's NJ. Hello. What's up, man? I'm working. Reels. Lots of space to work in here, so if you're here for a week, you can have your vacation. I've got my office. That's where I'd like my office. Yeah, that's a nice desk. Because it's got this little high desk here. here. DJ booth. And then, uh, you know, when I've got you, when I want to like take a little break for some karaoke. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is Joel. Thank you very much.
Whoa, you don't sound like Fat Elvis. You ain't nothing but a hound dog Riding all the time You ain't nothing but a hound dog Riding all the time Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit And you ain't no friend of mine Yeah, take that ball and put it in your mouth and smoke it <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, man. But yeah, this is my office, and uh, loaded with tequila. Yeah, NJ and I are are in here. Yeah, so we, uh, we, you know, we're family, so we share in the king bed. Uh, but every what I notice is every every one of these wardrobes has a blow up. Oh, okay. So there's three blow ups. Throw in the, the house. kids on those. So you can put the kids on the blow up, yeah. and there's enough room here to put that down. We have our own master bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. Um, and then there's another one here. Well, I feel like this is kind of like the, if you're having a party, yeah. this is like the, I mean, you've got two urinals. <laughs> it's like, you got the men's bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, ball. <laughs> uh, we got to try to get, we're trying to get this on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's right. Come on, man. But this is kind of cool. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, 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 oh, what sorry, are you doing? I'm in the mujeres. Mujeres. Oh, come on. I peed in there earlier. Society's changed. Yeah. Ooh, little, little birdhouse. Two more bedrooms upstairs. We got laundry, laundry machine. Keep things clean. Um, you want to go check out the bedrooms? Yeah, let's check sure. Them back up. I mean, what I really like is there's all this different space. So if you're here with family or friends, and you just need kind of like a break, yeah, you come out of your room and you can have your coffee here. You right. can have an afternoon drink. We're calling the manager. Right and once again, this has got a. Well, this is probably California King. Yeah, it's massive. But there's a blow up mattress in there as well, another bathroom. And I didn't realize there was a bathroom. I actually showed up here and I took a shower in your room, Paul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Know. I was, I was like, that's bathroom. interesting. But, so every room's got a bathroom. Interesting room. move, Ian. Just I mean, assert your dominance, right? <laughs> I uh, took a shit in the shower in your bathroom <laughs> yeah. so I don't dirty mine. Is yeah. that cool? Thanks, man. But I mean, you think it's like a perfect <laughs> place to like come with a group of people because you could just. You know, you could sleep in here yeah. and like sleep in late. You have your own bathroom. You don't have to like interact with people, but just as much, you know, you know that if you go up down to the grass, it's going to be a social area. Yeah. Totally. Or afternoon Netflix. You know, like sometimes yeah. you just want to watch a movie. Yeah, or if you just want to make a chair really, really comfortable, you can just stack a bunch of all pillows. the pillows. Oh, see? Right right there. A lot of pillows. <laughs> look at that. Uh, all those pillows are on the bed? Yes. <laughs> make the bed look nice. Well, there's one more bedroom. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you could put two people in this bed, no problem, and then. You know, mom and dad put a kid over here. Yeah. yeah that's a, this is a great property. And uh, we'd like to thank the owner because they gave us a, a nice little deal to stay here in yeah. order to to promote, um, give them a little bit of love on the Moving to Mexico channel. And I'm sure Ewan will give them a shout out as well because... Yeah. Well, we might try, a, to, might try to convince my brother to do a little weekend away off yeah. the beach after his wedding. That'd be awesome. I mean, it'd be sweet to come up here and hang For out sure. with, you know, a group of, group of wild kids and... Be, be tame, but enjoy it. You know, we that's the beautiful thing about Mexico. I've been, you know, three times to Bucerias. But then to come up here, it's like, it's different. It's just a whole different. new world, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's really not that far away either. No. Which yeah. is awesome. And we've stayed, like, for a cycling vacation, we've kind of stayed in two different price points. Yeah. Right, so this could be kind of like your elevated price point where people are used to kind of like four to five star living, right? Yeah. And they kind of want that, no matter what, right? Yeah. And then the other one was just, very basic and very inexpensive but it basically had everything that this place has but just wasn't as put together right Not right fancy. but it wasn't fancy it was I mean, very very but it was clean yeah comfortable. Comfortable. Beds I mean, were comfortable this place does have toothpaste I and yeah. mouthwash if That's, you need it yeah and, and you know what funny thing it was as i asked engine to buy me mouthwash today and he forgot and then we came here and well, guess they, what? Did, they didn't have it at all so. yeah no and i was just surprised when we drove around and we found the door we opened it up and I was like, oh wow. man, this place is awesome. Yeah. Well, I think we're, we're ready to sign off downstairs. Might yeah, as well let's do get that out of in here. the yard. And, get uh, out of my room. Get out of Paul's room. I might use the shower real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks again, everybody, for joining us. And hey, Paul, like, it, was a, it was a great day and I thought a great episode of Behind the Mexican Door because it was different. Totally. It's nice to, uh, to do one here in tequila. Yeah, tequila. And uh, I know we've had an episode, we've had a few, but I think we could even do a few more and people wouldn't get tired of it because there's so much more to discover here. Right. And, and uh, this one is one where if you come to tequila with a big family or big group, this is, I wouldn't want to stay anywhere else probably. I, I really actually love this place. I'm going to yeah. come back. And Via Maria Celeste, um, that is the name of the villa. And we're going to put a link in 
in the video here. I'm going to put a link in the description and um, contact them because uh, they're really, really fast to respond to, to Nadia. Good service. And, they, and it was super good service. All the staff were here, welcomed us. And the place was impe impeccable. Like it was yeah. so, so clean. And just everyone was so, so welcoming and friendly. So big, big shout out to, to them. And a big shout out to uh, Ian Boswell yeah. for being a co-host in this video and replacing your lovely, beautiful oh, I wife, know. eh? Yeah. I know. He did a good job. He did. Yeah. And uh, I really like Ian because um, he's just a salt of the earth kind of guy. And he, when he comes to Mexico, he just embraces it. Right. And I love seeing that, right? Yeah. Because... And he's, and he's the same. He's like, if people could just understand that there's so much more to Mexico, right? Then, right. And just come and get outside your comfort zone. And he's shown his buddy Colin. Yeah. No, I think he's convincing him. I think Colin is uh, convinced and he's got some Mexican heritage. Uh, generational. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he speaks pretty good Spanish. He does. He's got a good, a good pronunciation and pronunciación and acento. Vocabulario. Vocabulario. All right, I'm uh, getting a little long in the tooth again. Muchas gracias. Thanks for joining us in another episode of Behind the Mexican Door. Until Taco Tuesday, nos vemos hasta luego and adios desde Tequila, Mexico. What is behind? Mexican motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs>